Thank you for joining us back today on The Buzz. Many of you know I write for Forbes, Entrepreneur Magazine, The Huff Post, and I also contribute to the Jacksonville Business Journal. I have never, never had the opportunity to interview a mermaid until today. <laughs> Dallas, thanks for joining us today on The Buzz. Thank you for having me. I mean, it's phenomenal. And as, as a person that can't swim, Number one, can you save me in the event that I fall off the boat? Yes, I can hold my breath for about 15 minutes. So if you're falling deep into that water, I'm going to save you and I'm going to pull you ashore. I won't kiss you, though. Oh, no. Well, I'm married, so that's OK. Um, but Wally Conway needs to know that because he wants me to come out on his boat with him. But I told him I can't swim, but I'm bringing you with me. So well, I'll be OK. Send me a text on my shell phone and I'll be sure to be <laughs> swimming behind you, making sure you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> Phenomenal. In regards to you and beaches and oceans, what do you prefer more? Are you an ocean person, a beach person? What do you prefer? I swim everywhere, honestly. I swim in pools when no one's watching. Um, I love the Florida Springs. Love the freshwater of Florida Springs. That's probably where I swim the most. And then also out in the Gulf of Mexico. I mm. love the waters there. They're beautiful. Wow, that's phenomenal. And in regards to your diet, I know mermaids are very well fit and well kept. What do you eat? Is it a seaweed diet? Is it more uh, sharks? What, what, what's your diet consist of? I love seaweed and I love lobster. Mm. Um, also on occasions, if I can, I like to get a hold of some sushi. <laughs> <laughs> No crabs? They pinch too much? or No, they're kind of cute. Mm. I just, I can't bring myself to do it. <laughs> right, right. It, have there been any kind of species that have attacked you or tried to while you're out there? No, I'm a friend of all water creatures. Um, they identify with me, so I don't have any, there's no threats to me out there in the water. I respect them and they respect me. Now, all young people will want to know, all little kids everywhere, including my daughter who's watching this, What's your favorite movie? It's supposed to be water oriented, right? What's your favorite movie? So my favorite movie is Ron Howard's Splash. And as you can see, I share some resemblance mm -hmm. with the mermaid in that movie, Madison. And I really identify with her. She's a gorgeous mermaid and I wanna live up to her standards. What is one thing that people don't understand about mermaids that you wish people could understand about you? Um, they for tend to forget that the water is our home and sometimes when they're out with their families on the beach or visiting the springs and campgrounds, they tend to leave trash behind. I don't come into your house and leave trash behind. So be kind to the environment and remember to pick up after yourself. Well, how can people get a hold of you to come out to their beach events or pool events when nobody's watching and, and just be a, a great person to teach about the water life and how to take care of the beach environment. So um, I have a shell phone, which it's similar to an iPhone, but it works underwater. And I have branched out into social media. I have Instagram and Facebook, and that's how people can contact me and they can see my media. Awesome, Floridian Mermaids. Yes. Uh, Dallas, thanks for joining us today on Thank the Thank you for having me. <laughs> for another segment, I'm Jeff Shuford, your host, who have contributed to the top publications in the world and the first time ever spending time with the Floridian Mermaid. For another segment, I'm Jeff Shuford, your host. We look forward to seeing you in the next segment.